Hey, Keith, Cage's Garage. Today, fixing the lift, the two post lift. Uh, the hydraulic line blew a, a hole in it. And um, I don't know if you, you probably can't see. Hey, I'll try to zoom in. Now the stuff's still on the ceiling up here somewhere. One of the lines on top had a hole, got a hole in it and busted and sprayed hydraulic fluid all over the place. Uh, I've already, I'll show you the mess. I already uh, took the lines out. I had to get it done quick because I want to get the lift back up and running. I'm not sure how much I videoed of it. Uh, but this, all this black stuff, this is the rubber hose that was around the metal stainless steel line. And it's just crumbling. It's just deteriorated. The whole thing deteriorated. I thought it was just the uh, top part that was deteriorated. That was really dry rotted. But as soon as I started pulling it out, it just all came apart. Let me show you. So, let me explain how the lines go. There's a line from here. Uh, goes in. Oh, up over there. That hole there. Uh, goes up into the, somewhere in the middle here hits this T right and there's a 90 I'll show you I'll show you the line in a minute hits this T goes into a 90 into here and then two other hoses come out this way on, on that side so you have that T up there one line goes all the way here all the way down one line there all the way down and there's the cylinder it's just a mess I didn't, I didn't clean anything up I was in a rush to get the um the lines out into the sh to the shop to get replaced and they just left all the hydraulic fluid anyway inside this hole here is the uh cylinder same thing on the other side so that's where you put the bottom of the line and then obviously the two lines go on on here um it's not that it wasn't that difficult to get out once i disconnected them all uh i just had to take pretty much i pulled them up from the bottom and just ran them all the way actually there's it goes through these guys here i don't know if there's oh my god this is all broken hose all over the place uh i don't know if there's another holder down there that, that's gonna be an issue if there is i gotta lift get this lifted up I think now that it's disconnected, I can lift it up manually. I don't know how heavy it is. Oh, that's freaking... No, I ain't doing that by myself. Yeah, no, not lifting it up. So I don't remember if there's another one of these little holders somewhere in here. I think there is. I have no idea how I'm gonna get it through there. I guess I can look down inside here and do it. Um, I don't know, I'll figure it out. But to get it out, I pulled it from down here, pulled up, up, pulled it out of that one, and then pulled the other one down this way. The only one I couldn't do that was with was the one on top that had the angle because it wouldn't fit through these things. So anyway, let me show you the new hoses. Old hoses are gone. I, I got the new hoses, and I, I have a picture of the old hoses, and I will show you it right here. And here are the new hoses. I got them at Amazon Hose. It's a local place to me in Tampa. And I think they did a good job. They look just like the other ones. Three of these ends. And two ends here. And then one end here. The lift that I have, it's kind of old. Still, still works great though. When, you know, when you have lines on it. Here's the lift. It is an Atlas model 90HSC. And if you do get new ones, they want the serial number also, if you have anything. But anyway, this was made in 2011. So I did call Atlas to try to get <laughs> to try to get new hoses, and they didn't have any. And then I asked them, well, how much are the hoses? And they said about $50 each. I was like, oh, that's not too bad. There's another company I found out there 
that does the hoses. Um, I think it's SVI. They wanted about 100, 100 something each hose. So, and oh, and there was gonna be a wait time. I had to wait like two weeks for one of the hoses. I'm like, well, that's, I, I don't wanna wait two weeks. So, Amazon Hose locally here did it. So, if you do have one of these lifts and you wanna know the length of the hoses, because I didn't know the length and I didn't, yeah, I could have taken them, taken them off, measured them, and then tried to get them somewhere else. Anyway, I just took the hoses to Amazon and got them done. So, the short one that has 90 on it is 13.4. 13 feet 4 inches and the other two that go up the sides that go up the sides into the middle are once I don't know what he's measured here 16 foot 16 foot 2 inches they're both supposed to be they both have the same part number so they should be the same length I don't know if the same length is supposed to be 16 2 or 16 I'm probably gonna guess it's probably supposed to be 16 and anyway one of them is two inches longer I don't, it's, I don't think it's gonna make a difference um, two inches, I can, it'll, it'll hide up there somewhere. Anyway, so now I'm going to start putting these in. Drop, I think I'm going to start at the top. <sighs> Actually, I need to clean the mess up. This whole, that whole tray up there is full of hydraulic fluid. And it's just a mess. And I probably should clean this up if I'm going on a ladder. <clears throat> I need a 10 foot ladder to get, to get there. So let me do that. I thought I was just gonna come in here and do the lines, but let me sweep this up, get this cleaned up, get a bunch of rags, clean all the, the uh, hydraulic fluid off there. And then I can run the lines. I don't wanna run the lines in with all hydraulic fluid all over the place. So let me do it, clean all this up, and then I'll show you how to run the lines. All right, got it all cleaned up off the floor here. I didn't get a lot of this yet. I got that cleaned up, that tray out of there. I put the one shorty hose up, it's right here. It goes like through that hole right there, like I said. Um, problem is on these um, clips, you'll see in a minute, it's tough to uh, get this end down in there through the with when there's one already there. So I'm gonna try to do this end. It, it's the harder side. The other side is a lot easier. There's only there's only one hose to go through there. But I'm just gonna I don't know which one's longer. I'm just taking this one. It doesn't matter. And I'm gonna put this and feed it. I think I'm gonna feed it down. Down, let it because gravity will just let it fall all the way down. And I'll see if I can get it <clears throat> in hopefully in that other uh clip. I should be able to because there's no other hose there. And if I just maneuver it, I'll be should be able to get it down there. But let's uh let's see what I can do here. Let's climb the ladder. I should probably put the. Now yeah, let's go. Come on up with me. It's really hot up here too. Okay, we got the line. Oh, there's one more step. Something over. I'll show you something. Okay, I took the whole line and I just set it up in here. I don't know if you can see this. But there's that blue bar right there. You wanted to go over that bar on the other side of it, not through it, um, over it. Um, yeah, that's, oh shoot. And also you wanna go through these, like I just, and I just forgot to go through that. I, and I, you know what, when I put this, when I originally put the uh, lift together, I forgot to go through this also. Anyway, I will, um, Pull this line once it's down there. I'll pull it through and get it over here. So this should wind up right about there in the middle. I don't know if that's the middle, but you want it over that bar. Now I'm going to go down over here. I'm going to go here and see it needs, it needs to go through here. And it's all the way down there. So I'm going to lift it up, try to get it through here. This, oh geez, this is a tough part because it has to go through there with two hoses. All right, let's. I gotta put the camera down. All right. Well, that was easier than I. That was easier than I thought. Um, I just to get this through. All I did was I took the power line. This 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 line goes up to the um, shutoff. This electrical line, this skinny one. Put it in the back, 
and then this was able to slide right through. So now I just got to keep going down, and then I'll go through, and go through that one, and then I'll look in there and get it to the next one. All right, let's see what we can see down here. Can't see anything down here. It looks like the chain is loose now, and that's in the way. Ugh. All right, let me figure out what I gotta do. All right, so this hose, the long one, I ran all the way down and tried to fish it through. There's one of these loops right here. Um, oh, actually, I just noticed this is uh, thicker on this side. Anyway. Um, it's wider over here. Anyway, uh, ran all the way down here, then I fished it through, and that was, that was a bear to do. That was, that was tough. Over here, I did it a different way. I took the hose, ran it this way, through that one loop, then I fed it all the way out. It was a little bit hard feeding it up to get to this point, but I got it there. And there's still some slack. I, 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 the bottom, I, I got them in the spot where they need to go. I just need to screw them on. Uh, so now that's there. This is obviously, it's not where, how it's supposed to be right now, but that's, <clears throat> that's fine right now. Uh, I still need to put <clears throat> the, the T up there. And I have to read the, uh, man, I keep saying uh, tired. I have to read the instructions on how to bleed it and I don't know if I have any more fluid I might but it, it's old should I use the old stuff I'm here now you shouldn't really use old oil so I don't know it's old hydraulic fluid I'm not sure if that goes bad but this is original hydraulic fluid from probably 2012 it's now 20 12 years old 20 um 24 so maybe I should change the whole thing a little drain so I would have to suck it out of here. And I don't know how much is left in here. Oh yeah, and it, it needs some. I mean, it spilled a whole bunch. Anyway, and then obviously there's more cleaning. I'm not gonna really do a good cleaning until I get everything set up again and bled. Anyway, uh, I'm taking a little break. I only had a couple minutes to, to do this. So I just wanna see if I can get the lines run. Now that I have the lines run, I can finish up the rest later. All right, I'll catch you in a little bit and then when I wrap this up. All right, well, I ran into a problem. Ah, this car's in the way. This goes on the hydraulic pump. Ah, right, right there. And I stripped this part out right here. So I went back to Amazon Hose. The guy told me what size and everything this is. I don't remember. Anyway, went back to Amazon Hose, same place I got the hoses from. You know, the, the new hoses. Oh, and I don't know if I said this, look on the invoice, the size and stuff. It cost me uh, like almost $500 for three new hoses hydraulic hoses so it is what it is i, I needed them I, thought I found a company online they wanted them almost it was a little bit cheaper online but whatever i got them the same day anyway so i went back to amazon hose for this that i stripped out i i made sure this is the t that goes on the top i made sure this that the hose screws into here so i didn't mess so i knew i didn't mess up the the line on the hose and it does it fits on here it works fine Amazon hose went there, took this with me, and I go, I need one of these, and they got me one of these. It's, it's like a direct, almost a direct replacement. The uh, threads are a little bit different, you know, how, how long they are, but that, I don't think that's going to be a problem. And I just have to put some Teflon tape on here, screw this into the hydraulic post, and I, wanna, I might try, because it's going to sit up like this, might try scooting the hose around. And getting it on, on over here because I have a lot more room over here. 
um, put the hose on over here and then slide it back around. I went around this the cylinder spins so um, I spun it this way otherwise it was hitting these uh, the cables so I might be able to take the hose put, hook it up here and then spin it back that way because that's where the hose needs to stay but anyway let me uh, put some stuff on here do that and then eventually I'll get to, to uh, bleeding this I have to get on top there and do the do the two lines there that's the only other two lines to get with this uh, T here so let's get back to work all right there it is now put a new connector here put the hose on hose needs to go on the other side hopefully I can just spin this around let's see <sighs> it's not wanting to spin with the hose on there now let's see there we go Oh god, I just have to go over the other get the hose it's caught up on something. There we go. There we go. Actually, I think that is the way to do it for now on. Go <clears throat> look in there and see if there's another uh, no. I don't know if you can see it. There's the clip that has to go in, pan it back. But it's on. Now I can go up on top. And that was a lot easier than trying to get this mess with this hole here. A whole heck of a lot easier. If I have to do this again. Do this. Uh, the other thing, I'll show you how I lifted these arms up um, when I uh, when I'm bringing them back down, because uh, you can't lift these. I had to use the jack and lift it up. Anyway, I'll show you how I did that in a little bit. But I'm gonna go climb on the ladder and do these that connector, and I'll show you how I bring this down. All right, I have the connector done. There's the lines. Run all the way over. Through the loops. Okay, now I just need to check the hoses. Make sure they look okay. Can't really see much. I had to pull this one quite a bit. Eh, could actually go more if it needs to. Seems fine. Everything's snug, everything's tight. And I can't really see much of it. I can see this hose here. Oh, what about... Ah, I just pulled that hose. I just pulled that other, this hose here and it made it come out. So let's go there. I want it to be flat against the side as much as possible. Let's see if this thing... Oh, that thing isn't... oh, I need to lift it up. That's why. Okay, so let's uh, let's lift this thing up and uh, put it back on the ground. <clears throat> and then we'll start. I'll put some more fluid in. And we'll start going up and down and get the bubbles out of it. All right. So this is uh, me getting it down. I took the just some big piece of metal I had laying around. Put it between the two legs. Two arms, I mean. I'm oh, just gonna lower it down. Oop. And it does lift both sides up. So you'll see this side goes down also. And that's what the noise was. It was crushing that box. Alright, it's gonna sit on the wheel. It's not gonna be. And it's stuck on the wheel. Alright. So I went in too far. I can't. <laughs> ah. Alright. Lock of wood. Let's see. If I would just lower it, will it stay there? Okay. So now I gotta pull this out. Pop it over here. 
<clears throat> All right, to back here. And now, lift it up again, block the wood out. All right. Now let's lower it down. Should go all the way down to the floor. There we go. So, so that's how you do it. And now I can play with the buttons here, glob them down, check the oil, the hydraulic fluid level, and we'll uh, see what we got. Hold on. Uh, hydraulic fluid in, getting all over my hands. Uh, and it's, it's like third time I'm trying to go lift it up now. First time I lifted it, it took like 10, 15 seconds before it lifted. So it's getting better. Um, I'll show you one problem. It's still, see how jerky it is? Oh no, I don't want, I don't want to hit the clicks. Um, so now I'll let it down. Let's see if you can, it's going. We gotta pass the click. Ah, oh, darn it. Okay, so when you watch if you watch it go down, see it's going down like section little section at a time. I stand on it. It goes down faster. What I need to do is I need to get a car on here and just lift it up and down a couple times. But it's moving. I'm going to check to see if there's any leaks. So first, right here, easy one. No leak. Okay, this let me get a paper towel. Let's go down here. Let's see if there's a leak. No. No leak. That's the new the new fitting. Let's check over here. This one's gonna be fun. Before I had to move all kinds of stuff out of the way. Uh, let's see. See it? Hand over here. No, nope. it's dry. This one I was a little worried about because I really cranked down on that on the nut. So now let's go. Whew. Let's go up on the ladder and see if these are leaking. Probably when it will leak the most is like when there's a car on it and it hits the top because that's when it gets like a, a pressure spike. That's when it busted the hose last time. I don't see anything. It looks good. I don't see any drops or anything. I mean, it's not full pressure right now, I don't think. Looks pretty good for now. All right. I lifted the car up. I greased, I, I took some white lithium spray and sprayed all inside these rails and stuff. Anyway, you don't, you don't need to see that, but let's uh, bring it down. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit. Brought it all the way up. I, don't, I still don't see any leaks, so that's good. All right, we go, come down. Now, it's, now you can look and see how fast this comes down with weight on it, it's not jerking around. This will get the air bubbles out pretty good. It's still, it's still with no weight. It's still jerking a little bit. But as the air bubbles come out, it'll be fine. I, I check the level. The level is good. I used, uh, you know, I some, I had some hydraulic fluid left over. I probably put maybe half a gallon in there. That's probably what dri dripped out when I with in the lines. Um, we're all set. The lift is back in business. 
makes me pretty happy. Um, it's not a very clean job. i am got hydraulic fluid oil all over me. Um, but whatever, it's done. Uh, I still have cleanup to do. There's, there's all broken hose pieces all inside the lift. All around the lift has hydraulic fluid. So that's another day. This, I wanted to get this done. So now I can check that off the list. I don't have to worry about the lift not working. So if I want to use it, I can use it and I can clean it later. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully maybe you learned something in this video. If you did, hit the, hit the thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And like and subscribe if you want to see what else is going on here. Thanks a lot and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.